Hello everyone, Sir VG here with another speedrunning product review for you. For those of you who are looking for a product that allows you to play a game component but yet you need to be able to record using composite or S video, then here's something that will help you out. It's called the Sewell Component to Composite Downscaler. As you can probably guess, it goes from component to composite although despite what the name says it also does as video now this is great for people who can't or don't want to record a component you know due to either expense or you know they don't have anything that's capable of doing that so this little box does also switches you know from component if you're playing widescreen it works just fine or, you know, you know, and progressive works just fine as well. As you can see, we've got component in the front, our obligatory LED, power, audio jack is a 3.5 millimeter, component and S video. At the end here, we have a couple of switches for between S video and component, and PAL and NTSC. So this will work for you folks in Europe as well. The product comes with a good host of cables, your standard you know, component cables, composite, your RCA cables for your component input, 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter audio jack. If you're recording the way I am, I actually have a Y cable plugged into this thing which is the 3.5 millimeter to RCA audio. It also comes with an S-Video cable and your power cable. So just to kind of show you, I'm actually, this is my actual S-Video output from my DVD recorder. Now, I know it's not going to show up too well on here, but this is the Wii's settings. Now, as you can, this is actually running in 16 by 9, but it fits perfectly in a 4 by 3 window. So, how well does it work? For the most part, I actually have to say pretty well. I actually got some video of a few different games that are recorded earlier. Again, it's not going to show up too well, but I will put up the video on YouTube following this. This is an example of a 480i game running at 16x9, Bubble Bottle Plus. As you can see, it perfectly fits the size of the screen. The video of this actually is pretty good. Obviously, you know, because it's going just from interface to interface, it's just resizing the video. Frame rate is fluid. Overall, it's pretty good. Second game I have is Contra Reaper. Some aspects of this run 69, some of it runs in 4x3. It does run in 480p. As you can see, compared to the Puddle Bottle, this actually does have black bars on the left and the right. You will not have it if you learn to be in 4x3. So just note that if you are running some of your Wii games that are 4x3, put your Wii to 4x3 mode. Otherwise you're going to shrink an already shrunk video. Picture are still not bad, but it's definitely better if it ran in its native 4x3. The third one I have is actually a 16x9 480p video of Castlevania Judgment. And much like the other two, it looks really good considering you're, you're down scaling it. And since this is natively runs in 16x9, 
it fills up the screen perfectly. Frame rate is fluid. No, there's no issues with this at all. I'm gonna stop this just to show you that the Wii does natively fill will fill out the screen if it's running in four by three. It's just an issue with running Contra or something like that. Just go to your resettings. Go to my screen, wide screen, and change it from 16 by 9 to 4 by 3. Confirm. And now I'm running in on 4 by 3. And as you can see, it still fills up the screen nicely. So it's just a matter of, you know, Certain games you're just going to need to switch to the Wii if you're using this device. Um, you know, Castlevania The Adventure Rebirth, while it can run 16x9, it's actually stretching it and looks really bad. I mean, even in component. So, you're just going to have to see what the game really natively works in. Let's switch this back to widescreen. So overall, it's a pretty good product. There is one error in the manual that says it runs both component and S video and composite and S video at the same time. It doesn't. It's a switch, so you can only use one or the other. Input resolutions it takes. It takes 480p as well as 480i. 576 i and p for your PAL regions. 720p. 1080i and 1080p. Like I said, it works for you know NTSC and PAL just by a switch in the back. So if you have no way of recording a component but want to display it, you know this will work as long as you have an amplifier. This is what I use for an amplifier. It's the CE Labs AV400 comp which is a 1x4 one input four outputs you do not want to split component cables via you know just why splitting it off because it makes the signals weaker which is why you want a powered amplifier like this this is definitely a good amplifier you can generally find that off of Amazon as for the Sewell scaler itself you can find it off Amazon, although I actually got it from SeawellDirect.com, which is the manufacturer's site. Cost about 50 bucks plus some shipping. So it's a worth you know, if you have everything else already, you might as well just get this as some easy little addition. So what I recommend it. If you need to go about this route, yes. If you are capable of recording the component, you can go ahead and skip it and just get the CE Labs amplifier. I will post the sample videos of the Bubble Bubble Plus, Contra Rebirth, and Castlevania Judgment just to show how well it's recording off of like a DVD recorder, showing how it is in S video. I will post that on my YouTube later. If you're looking for the actual model number of this seawall downscaler, it's SW-22309. Like I said, it's about 50 bucks. A little bit more if you can get it from Amazon. So, This is Sir VG with another speedrunning product review. Signing off.